uranium enrichment is at the center of Iran's nuclear program and the diplomatic fight to contain it. Because you enrich for one reason, and I won't tell you what that reason is, but it's no good. They better be careful. Iran's main source of nuclear fuel is uranium, which it mines from out of the ground. But raw uranium isn't useful on its own. The isotope that enables a nuclear reaction, U-235, makes up less than 1% of naturally occurring uranium. Enriching uranium is the process of increasing the percentage of U-235 in one batch of uranium. That's primarily done by turning refined uranium into a gas and then spinning it through a series of centrifuges. That spinning separates the lighter U-235 molecules from their heavier counterparts, leaving behind a more enriched form of uranium. The steps that Iran has taken to fully implement the nuclear agreement have fundamentally altered the country's nuclear program. The international deal constraining Iran's nuclear program limited the country to a stockpile of 660 pounds of enriched uranium, none of which could be enriched beyond 3.67%. But Iran has now exceeded both of those limitations. Before the nuclear deal came into effect in 2015, Iran was able to reach 20% enriched uranium, which the country said it needed to fuel medical and scientific research. Iran has long denied seeking a nuclear bomb, but it's still fairly easy to convert 20% enriched uranium to the 85-90% to level needed to fuel nuclear weapons. The nuclear agreement's limitations were designed so that if Iran did start pursuing a nuclear weapon, it would take the country at least a year to gather enough weapons-grade uranium. But Iran isn't likely to start sprinting towards a nuclear weapon. Miles Pomper, a senior fellow with the Middlebury Institute of International Studies, told Newsy, politically, it makes more sense for them to do this very slowly than to do it very quickly because it keeps putting the onus on the Europeans and others to try to find a way out. They don't want to get to the point of no return either. The nuclear deal also limited the number and type of centrifuges that Iran could operate, limits Tehran has yet to breach. If Iran really wants to shorten the timeline to acquire weapons-grade uranium, it might begin by increasing the number of centrifuges or starting to use more advanced technology. It's worth noting uranium isn't Iran's only path to a nuclear weapon. The country also has a heavy water reactor that can produce plutonium. That reactor was decommissioned as part of the nuclear deal, but Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has pledged to resume construction on it if the deal fails entirely.